Subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon for all the latest news and updates. Now you have logged into One India News YouTube channel and this is Mariam. The United States President Donald Trump on Tuesday made his debut speech at the United Nations General Assembly. As the global leaders listened to the most powerful man in the world, it became clear what's on Donald Trump's mind. In his 41-minute long speech, the US President told the world that it would not tolerate the rocket man, by which he meant the North Korean leader Kim Jong-un. Now here are the five key takeaways from President Trump's speech. Firstly, Donald Trump devoted a significant part of his speech to warn Kim Jong-un. This clearly means that Washington is in no mood to take Pyongyang lightly. The US President used the term rocket man to address the North Korean leader even as North Korean ambassador to the United Nations Ja Song Nam left the hall prior to Trump's speech. With lines such as if the righteous many do not confront the wicked few, then evil will triumph or will totally destroy North Korea. Well, these were the kind of lines used by Donald Trump. And he has told the world that any single missile fired from North Korea in future would mean a complete disaster for Rocket Man on the suicide mission. Secondly, there were some tough words for Iran, Venezuela and Cuba. Well, it is no secret that Donald Trump has tried to reverse his predecessor Barack Obama's key policy initiatives. In continuation of this stance, the US President termed the Iran nuclear deal as an embarrassment to the United States. Talking about the situation in Venezuela and Cuba, he spoke about the futility of socialism as an ideology and said that US cannot simply sit and watch what's going on in these countries. Thirdly. There was not a single line on climate change, Russia or Saudi Arabia. Well, oddly enough, in these 41 minutes, not once did the US president mention climate change. While he kept on talking about the radical Islamic terrorism and respecting border from Ukraine to the South China Sea, the US president simply missed to address the issue of environment. Though he urged Russia to help the United States in taming North Korea, he did not address Vladimir Putin directly. From Syria to Iraq, he talked about failed states, failed regimes, but never did he once mention the role of Saudi Arabia in the peace process or the issue between Qatar. He also missed out on addressing the Rohingya crisis. Fourthly, he put forward the America First message. Donald Trump said, As President of the United States, I am supposed to put America first. Well, it looks like Donald Trump has not forgotten his Make America Great Again election campaign motto. The US President made it clear that he would put the United States' interest above all, no matter what. In sort of a balancing act later, Trump said that United States would forever be a great friend to the world and especially to its allies. But in the same breath, he added that his primary responsibility was to Americans. Last but not the least, he put forward the point of patriotism and called for great reawakening of nations. Yes, talking about the importance of patriotism, Donald Trump again emphasized that countries can only resolve global conflict if they protect themselves and their interests first. He said, Now we are calling for a great reawakening of nations. We need to defeat the enemies of humanity and unlock the potential of life itself. Well, many say that it was a tough speech with a very clear message. However, others say that it missed some really important key issues. That's all for now. For more news and updates, please subscribe to One India News YouTube channel.